Hey, what's going on guys and welcome to the series of Electron. So in this series we're gonna explain Electron briefly and we're gonna get so in this story actually we're gonna get started into Electron, just set up the environment we're gonna use and we're actually gonna talk about Electron and why you need to use it nowadays, especially in 2018 for your career. So if you go to just to the website electron.js, you're gonna find this cool library from GitHub if you are familiar with GitHub or if you if you're if you know GitHub actually. So Electron is a framework that allows you to create desktop applications using the technology or the web technologies. Like that simple. This is like the main functionality of Electron. I know there's a lot of other things, but this is like the main purpose of uh, why Electron exists anyway. So GitHub de develops actually Electron for its uh, code editor and it became nowadays a framework but it was generally just some kind of an idea to create uh, a, a desktop application using the web technologies like HTML, CSS and JavaScript so if you love web development and you want to create desktop application and you don't like really like want to care about like platform specific things and all the kind of things you can just use Electron and you can just create that using JavaScript use any framework like React anything anything you like and put all of it together in one application and desktop application and really nice thing about it is it's, it is actually cross-platform so you just create one instance of your application and deploy it uh, on, on every major platform like Linux, Mac OS X, and of course Windows. So let's just jump right into that. Like as you can see, this is the main website or the official website, electronjs.org. You can also find electron.awesome.com, I believe. Yeah, it's the same thing. So this is like the the main website. You get you got just gonna find like this is an open source closed platform, and you can make it using web technologies and all the features and a demo application in here. If you run and check that, and obviously the quick start guys. So you just clone it using Git. Make sure to have Git uh, available in here, and you just start it and you start playing with it to know more about that. So that was all of it, and you can just check out the application built with Electron. It's really nice things, and a lot of application have been with Electron right now. So anyway, let's just now we need to create our application so the github repository here i really really recommend you to or recommend you check this one like the quick start guide just get uh, using your gets clone that install it and start manipulating this start playing with it around you're gonna understand a lot a lot of things and also the documentation is very very useful so if you go to the docs you're gonna find a lot of things so we're gonna use that we're gonna use visual studio code for the environment setup so if you're not familiar with visual studio code you can use any code editor you like but i have a video tutorial specifically for visual studio code 20 uh, it's not 2017 actually but I've, I've made it like a couple weeks ago but you can check this video for the extensions my setup and why i really choose visual studio code rather than not any other code editor so you can just watch that on the channel why not so let's start with visual studio code you can get from the official website of course i have an i have a folder in here and let me just go ahead and create files in here so first things first i'm going to create a distribution folder and folder not a file okay so a distribution folder and another folder is going to be the src not inside it so uh, outside that so sorry let me just delete that um create another folder and call it src so this src is going to hold all the javascripts or our like source files and here the distribution like the public folder if you're familiar with or, or you are a web developer of course you are you going to use electron so this is very obvious and the src and this is gonna be pretty much it so create a new file is i'm gonna name it the package.json since we're gonna use node.js because you can't you can't just um create or use electron without Node.js, it's just, it's not gonna work. So you must use Node.js because it's like a module, Neutron is modular of of, uh, of Node.js. So I'm sorry, so I mean Electron. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. I don't know why I can't talk that much, but let's, let me do that. So here we're gonna call this, oh, let me just create this very quickly. I'm gonna call it Electron-app. And I'm gonna give it the main file. So main is going to be main.js, and I'm gonna create that in a second. So another thing is gonna have dependencies, and let me just put that. So 
this is like just initializing the repository if you are not familiar with node.js make sure to watch or learn about node.js first then come over back here into this tutorial so you can also use the command line like npm init but i really like doing it that way not just completing a form thing but yeah that, that was it for the setup i will add another thing here is the script but we're gonna talk about the script in a second after doing all these kind of things now for this everything is set up in here let me just create or not under the src because this is gonna be like our main file so like the main handler of the electron i'm gonna name it main.js and here you can put render.js or something so let me just render .js so like this is the uh, main uh, main process and the other one is the renderer process so we need like to separate both of them and the distribution for them just gonna call it index.html so like this is the window or page that we're gonna see so you can call it window or page because for the window we're gonna just lay out an html file to display it on the window and you can use css for styling your things all these kind of things as i've said web technologies on the desktop application so yeah with that in mind, you can do that nowadays using Electron if, if you're not, like, if you have never heard about Electron before. So, as I've said, now let's install Electron. As I've said, it's a module from Node.js. Using npm, make sure to, like, Node.js is installed on your computer. And npm install, and I'm gonna install Electron, and make sure to save that as a dependency. And this is gonna just fetch uh, npm and install everything. And and I'm using the terminal integrated terminal with Visual Studio Code, so make sure to have that as well. Anyway, so let me just wait for that. And actually, for the main.js file, it it has like uh, a code for that for like displaying and manipulating the window, grabbing it, then opening a, a browser window. It's using Chromium for displaying the windows and all these kind of things and then Leo the process all these kind of things like it's, it's just gender thing so you're gonna find it on the quick start guide as I've said here if you go to the the the, the one in here you're gonna find everything that we're going to use in in this specific thing so like if you go to the main.js this is gonna be the standard one code so we're just gonna copy it we're not gonna like make everything for me because it's gonna pretty much the same here like starting the process starting a window initializing everything from electron and like that basic things you need to set up using electron in order to get window running up and quickly so let me just copy paste as i've said you're gonna find or if you go to the official website, you are going to find this one, like the GitHub repository of the quick start guide. Also, I'm going to put in the description below. So just go below the video. You're going to find that. Or in my website, you're going to find both ways. Anyway, so copy pasting in that into the main.js. And now uh, Electron is set up correctly. Other thing I want to mention is you need an asset manager. So if you want CSS or uh, using SAS or pre-compiled CSS, you can go ahead and install Lervo Max. So Lervo Max is going also Webpack. I mean, uh, installing Webpack then Lervo Max. So let me just install Webpack. If you don't know, Webpack is a dependency manager for JavaScript. So and CSS and stuff like that. So let's install Webpack actually. So uh, install web pack dash dash save dev uh, we need it just for development process so when deploying this is not gonna go with you into the server so in the production this is not gonna be deployed the webpack thing and the other thing we're gonna need is Laravel mix and Laravel mix make your assets easier like manage your assets even more easier so if you think that webpack manage your dependency manager Laravel Mix is gonna like make make your life even even more easier than Webpack. So we're gonna just use that for compiling or pre-compiling the CSS assets and JavaScript and using all of the other Leodos if you wanna use React, yada yada yada, a lot of other things, but we're just gonna use that. Now after Webpack has been installed successfully, make sure also to run npm install Laravel dash max so level dash max and dash dash save dash dev i'm gonna also just need it for development process now level max has been installed successfully i'm gonna use that for as i've said pre-compiling the assets and actually for the package.json you need to add that into the script so you need to add like dev npm run development development for compiling the sas or our assets using webpack and laravel mix and also the watch so just copy paste them 
all of those like in here you're gonna find them in, on, on my website like for the detailed uh, tutorial so make sure to see that in there just copy paste them or you can just put them from, from that and the most important thing is the start one the start script so this one gonna allow us to start the electron application so put just start electron then a dot so which means just start using the electron interpreter uh, starts this specific application so just this is gonna start up the application I don't know with this error log but it's gonna happen for you but just you know and after making all of this kind of things go to the index.html or whatever you name it in here and just create an html page a regular html page I've just created that and put it electron app h and we're gonna talk about the render.js in, in the improvement on the next episode and make sure to put as I've said the main.js in here everything should be now set up correctly just now npm run start make sure to put the start scripts under the package.json and from here we should see electron electron and we should see boom our application here and it's called electron dash amp and yeah it looks just very very fine everything you can just resize it minimize that maximize this you can just get out of this and you know like the toolbar in here everything everything you can maxim or you can i mean you can customize this you can do everything that you can do with a desktop application or with using web technologies in on a desktop application that would be very very nice so i guess this is pretty much it for that episode i'm gonna talk more about this application and try or electron in the next ones i'm gonna try to like a lot explain the api what you can do with it and which technologies that you should use the most with that to make it more performance friendly and uh, and, and a little bit more prettier than just a normal web application for this and more suitable for this cool application so this is pretty much it guys thank you for watching i hope you really really enjoyed this i will catch you in the next episode